Hey, good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. It's your brother, J.D. Nijer, Word of Truth with Jeff Deloach. Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. I'm here in Colorado still. Another day. Um, Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters who are here, the family, your family, that follow you, who seek you, who want to know you better. So we can walk in your ways and do your will. And to walk in this funky world without fear. Knowing that you have us, knowing that we're saved. We honor you, we praise you, we thank you over and over again. We have the attitude of gratitude. We love you, praise you, bow before you. Your will be done. Amen. You're welcome. Camera looks a little... Hazy, those hazy, crazy, lazy days of summer. Looks a little better. All right, hey, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, a lot of new subscribers. Thank you. I'm blessed. I'm honored. Thanks for being here. I do my best every day to um, break down the things that are going on in the world as far as um, the Bible goes. We talk about the thought processes of our God through interpreting the scriptures correctly. Instead of coming up with some vain imaginations, we, we, we handle the truth here on this channel. We don't, I, I, I bash these boneheads that are trying to teach you things that aren't in the Bible, that's in there rolling around in their vapid minds, their vain imaginations, their wicked interpretations that try and fit either their race, their religion, their creed, their color, whatever it is. Um, we are supposed to love each other regardless of any of that. But it's hard to love these people that are talking crap and don't know what they're... A lot of people don't even know how to read correctly. So, um, Tony Williams... This guy is something else, man. Holy Spirit led and fed. All um, this one's for you, Tony. He thinks, for one, he thinks the Christians are um gonna overtake Israel. They think he thinks uh, what's that phrase they use? Replacement theology. He thinks the church is gonna replace Israel. He's out of his friggin' Detroit. Michigan mind. So anyway, what he did today, this is how stupid he is. He put the righteous are an abomination to the world. The birds are coming around me. They love me. The, the birds around here are starting to love me like they do back home. Again, thanks for um, subscribing. I'm not the best speaker or videographer I just grabbed the Bible and I talk to you guys so I'm I'm low tech I'm not here to impress you or get you to clickbait if you're here you're here for a reason um, the prophet the prophet isn't a happy person the prophet is knows things that a lot of people don't want to know. They shut their mind. They shut their heart. The prophet can't do that. I'm not allowed to shut God out. And so, um, I'm going to put the picture. I'm going to put the in the um, thumbnail. I took a picture of Tony Williams' abomination. The righteous are an abomination. So, see, what, what this idiot does is he mixes... 
secular verbiage with biblical verbiage. And there's a big enough problem as it is with the way they've translated the Bible. The translations aren't... Uh, the translations aren't always accurate. They're accurate if you have a feel for the Spirit because the Spirit will tell you um, what the meaning is because the Spirit will lead you into all truth. But if you don't know that, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, that's what's funny about Tony Williams. His channel is called Holy Spirit Led and Fed, but he doesn't even have the Holy Spirit, which is an abomination. So abomination, I looked it up. Biblically, um, it means vile, um, sinful, filthy, grotesque. But the other, but one of the main meanings, the word is, the Hebrew word is shakat, shakwat, unclean animal. So when he says the righteous are an abomination, I know what he means. We're an abomination to the worldly people. And it's true, he's, he's right, but... Using that word, abomination, that if you uh, biblically, you don't want to say the righteous are an abomination, regardless of who thinks it, says it, feels it. We don't give a fuck what these devils think of us. So when he says they they think we're an abomination, that's just that's just being. Oh, caring about what they think. I could give a fuck what they think about me. I never even thought that they thought of me as an abomination. I don't, and I don't think a lot of them do. I think a lot of them are just scared because they know that we're powerful. I don't, I don't, I don't assume that they think I'm dirty. But anyway. Um, that's not a good word to use in the same sentence as the righteous. Um, the righteous are an abomination to the world. So I'll put it in the thumbnail. You can see I'm not lying. I'll put it, I'll put the picture of his thumbnail. So what I was talking about, the prophets don't have any love for this place. We hate this place. We know the truth, so we hate liars. We hate... I I can't even stand... That mistake that he made. That little mistake. To him, it's... Oh, it's no big deal, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, dude, the righteous are not an abomination. Anyway, anyhow, anyway. Nowhere, no how, not... I don't even consider people thinking about me as unclean and dirty and filthy. And if they do, that's on them. I'm not going to... Hey, everyone, this, this shitty-ass world, these fucking pagan heathens, they think we're an abomination. Man, are they, are they wrong? <laughs> yeah, Tony, you're, you're a real scholar there. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to read Jeremiah. This is... Jeremiah is cry, crying out to the Lord. He's complaining to the Lord. Let me read it to you. You can understand um, how it feels to be a Benjamite prophet. Prophets want, want to die. Prophets don't like it here. Prophets aren't interested in whether someone thinks they're an abomination or not. Jeremiah 27. Lord, you have deceived me and I was deceived. You are stronger than I am and you have overpowered me. Everyone makes fun of me. They laugh at me all day long. They think we're clowns. They don't think we're dirty. They think we're clowns because we believe in God. This, I didn't know who was going to say that. Everyone makes fun of me. They laugh at me all day long. That doesn't mean that they hate. Abom 
Someone who's abominable is hated. I don't think we're hated. I think we're we're a joke to them. We're a joke to these pagans. Um, whenever I speak, I have to cry out and shout violence, destruction. Lord, I am ridiculed and scorned all the time because I proclaim your message. Just think of just think of me saying this. It's it's Hebrew poetry. See how it's written? It's Hebrew poetry. It's written in stanzas. Um, they ridicule and scorn me because I proclaim your message. But when I say I will forget the Lord and no longer speak in his name, then your message is like a fire burning deep within me. That's what I was saying, right? Before I got started, I can't I can't run away. I've been telling I've been trying to explain this on this channel to you guys for a long time. And um Maybe we're getting the right mix of people coming on. The new subscribers can feel that spirit that who I am, who I say I am. I'm, I'm fucked. I'm an Israelite. I'm of the tribe of Benjamin of Judah. I have so much tithes. I have so much given to me that I can't just sit back and go, ha 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 ha. I know the truth. You're going to get killed. If you don't believe me, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's. I can't go back into the world. Even when I'm in the world, God's on my ass. I could get, I could get as high as fuck. Go to the hotel, get some chick, drink all night. Be a mess for a couple days. And he's still going to be there when I come <laughs> back to my senses. Right there. He's going to be right there. Uh, when I say I will forget the Lord, I can no longer speak in thy name. Then your message is like a fire burning deep within me. I try my best to hold it in, but I can no longer keep it back. You guys see me every day, every day, every day. I am like a robot. He's puppeting me. I have no choice. I have to do, I have to do Bible stuff. I have to talk about these ignorant people fake teachers and I need to teach the real truth the real truth like the GMS black Hebrew ignorance say truth can't pronounce it how do you know what you're, you know what it is I try my best to hold it but I can no longer keep it back I hear everybody whispering terror is everywhere so let's report him to the authorities even my close friends wait for my downfall I've been more screwed by the women I've loved than anyone else in my life the ones I care about the most are the ones that fucking set me up. Perhaps he can be tricked, they say. Then we could catch him and get revenge. Tony might be right. We're an abomination to these people. They really do hate us. Tony, maybe you're right. We are an abomination. I just don't like you putting it in one in a sentence. Leave the righteous out of it. The righteous are an abomination. Just say, gosh, man, I don't know how you would say that. We're hated by the world. We're misunderstood. We're, we're an anomaly. Not necessarily dirty. Not everyone hates us. But you, Lord, are on my side, strong and mighty, and those who persecute me will fail. Never been known to fail, people. Why? Because I'm a prophet. The Lord protects me. I'm the apple of his eye. I can't even I can't even screw myself. He won't even let me hurt myself. <laughs> Nor less someone else. They will be disgraced forever who come against us because they cannot succeed. I, this is one of my catchphrases, people. For you new folks, never been known to fail. Never been known to fail. I don't know what it is like. I come out smelling like a rose every time. I don't know how, other than the Lord protects me. Their disgrace will never be forgotten, but Almighty Lord, you test people justly. You know what is in their hearts and minds. 
Yes, we do. We know too. When you know the truth, you start seeing people correctly for who they are. You start going, ooh. A lot of times you're drawn to help these idiots, but huh, that's how you get tricked. You step into their bullshit and you get screwed. So let me see you take revenge on my enemies, for I have placed my cause in your hands. Um, you know who my enemies are, GMS Black Hebrew Israelites. That right now, they're my biggest enemy. And God's biggest enemy. These guys... The people that are already taken by Catholicism and Mormonism and Protestantism and they're taken by religion and not spirit, they're, they're already walking zombies. This new thing, this black Hebrew Israelite thing is, um, is turning people into zombies, especially beautiful, sweethearted, tender, loving, godly Israelite black people. These guys are doing the exact opposite of what they're saying they're trying to do. Let me continue how it feels to be a prophet. Prophet, I place my cause in your hand. Sing to the Lord. Praise to the Lord. He rescued the oppressed from the power of evil people. I don't care what evil people think of me, Tony Williams. I keep that shit off my mind. I don't know what, what made you think about that. Oh, these wicked evil people hate hate us yeah you think but we're not an abomination to them don't use that word bro they hate us misunderstand us and are reviled by us but in, in uh, but uh, calling the abomination the righteous an abomination to them they can't call us anything. They can hate us all we want, but that doesn't make us unclean. They can call they can call me dirty, but they they're the dirty ones. Um, curse the day I was born. So this was another thing that Tony Williams was talking about was suicide. He went on a suicide walk for people that want, want to get the fuck out of here. I, you know, the Bible really doesn't say anything about suicide. We know that Saul jumped on his sword and his son Jonathan, they jumped on their own swords. He was the first king of Israel. And he committed suicide. Sometimes you just can't take it. Sometimes it's a slow suicide. You get on drugs to the point where you just fail, where you drink yourself to death. I mean, some people just get tired of it and they're brave enough to fucking put the revolver in their mouth and pull the trigger. Some people are brave enough to get on the chair with the rope around their neck, kick it out. Some people are brave enough to swim out in the ocean, knowing that they're not gonna be able to make it back. There's a lot of ways to do it. Some people jump jump off freeway overpasses. The point I'm trying to make is um, if I wouldn't have signed up for this mission, I would be saying the same things Jeremiah's saying. It's late in the game. I signed up for this mission. I I'll go. I will go for you, Lord. I will go. Who's going to go for me? I will go. So I can't say I wish I was dead, but sometimes, like Jeremiah, I wish <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have made it here. He says, curse the day I was born. Forget the day my mother gave me birth. Curse the one who made my father glad by bringing him the news. It's a boy. You have a son. May he be like those cities that the Lord destroyed without mercy. May he hear cries of pain in the morning. So this is, this is Benjamite 
language right here. It says, he may hear cries of pain in the morning. Benjamin, the blessing for Benjamin was he wakes early in the morning. He hunts at noon and he brings home the spoil in the evening. That's why we've never been known to fail. Because we wake up early. We're the first awake. We're vicious. We go out at noon. We take the spoil. And in the evening, we bring it back. So whenever you hear that word morning, noon, or evening, that's the progression of prophecy. We wake early. We're here on time, just on time. We're, we're doing what we need to do at noon. The, when the sun's up, we're there. We're, that's why I download my videos at noon. And in the evening, there, I give you what I've brought. So th this, this is Benjamite language. May he hear cries of pain in the morning and the battle alarm at noon. So this is reverts, refers back to my tribe. Because he knows his dad was a Benjamite because he's a Benjamite. Jeremiah was of the priests of Anathoth. That's my family. And not killing me before I was born. May he hear the cries of pain and the battle alarm at noon for not killing me before I was born. Then my mother's womb would have been my grave. Why was I born? Was it only to have trouble and sorrow? To end my life in disgrace? Um, why, is, why, why does Jeremiah say that? Why, is he, why do you think he's going... Fuck this, man. You know why? Because no one listened to him. I know the feeling, folks. I'm so excited when I see... My subscriptions went from... <laughs> 350 to 359. So there was like nine of you that, that came on. I think I'm one of the best Bible teachers on YouTube as far as straight knowledge of the basics of what, I mean, I'm a prophet. I'm a Benjamite. I'm a, I'm of Israel. I, I don't know what to tell you. The Lord loves me. He fucking loves me and I love him and I know his, I know who, I know who he is. I don't feel like I need to do anything special except speak to you. This dude, this. So anyway, just know that the prophet doesn't have it easy. It's hard to speak and no one listens. That's why, that's why Jeremiah was so upset. We're not, I'm not going to fail, but it's, it's hell while I'm here trying. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. If you're wandered on this channel, join the family. We've got we've got the power of the Lord with us. Man, Colorado's nice. I'm going to miss it when I go home. I can feel it already. I'm like, I don't want to go home really. I don't know. I got to go back to Huntington and take care of my business. I'll be back at the beach. I'll be back at the beach on Friday. So, thanks for listening. Peace and grace to all of you. Don't let don't let anyone tell you who you are in the Lord. Stand firm. You don't have to you don't have to speak like I speak. I'm doing this for whoever's listening. Stand up on your own feet and be who you are. Don't let people tell you, yeah, you're not a Christian. Yeah, you're not this. You're not that. They don't know what's in your heart. And that's why they're doubting you. Don't doubt yourself. Don't let them, don't let them mess with your head or your heart. Stay focused on the fact that your Lord loves you and he's, gonna, he's going to redeem you. He already has, basically. We're in the new covenant. All we have to do is love each other and love him, and we're good. Not only are we good, we're great. Don't let anyone tell you anything different. J.D. Niger, Word of Truth. 
I'm out.